10 things you need to grow your six figure online teaching course. Hey, Mark Nelson here. I am so excited for you. If you don't know who I am, I was in public education for a long time, a high school math teacher. Thoroughly enjoyed it. At the same time, I kept looking for a way to make extra income. See, my wife and I were paycheck to paycheck, and there was nothing wrong with it. We were enjoying our life, but we wanted something else. We wanted to find a different way to have a better retirement so we could travel the world. So I went to what I did best. I teach. And I'm going to share with you how you can grow your teaching business. I'm going to share with you the 10 things you need to grow your six-figure online teaching course. Hey, I put out videos every week. Hit that subscribe button and that bell notification and hang on till the very end because I got a great resource for you. It'll help you a bunch in growing your business. So let's get at the 10 things. The first one is what are you going to do? What's your niche or your niche? Well, however you pronounce where you're from. I'm originally from Wisconsin, so I say niche. <laughs> what are you going to do? In the online world, right, they talk about there's three things, health, wealth, and relationships. Now, because you're a teacher, you can also teach teachers if you like to do that and go to sell, start selling your courses, your how do you do classroom stuff and whatnot. But if you're looking to do something else, it's your health, wealth and resource. Now I'm in the wealth industry because I want to teach people. I want to teach teachers how to make an extra income so they can have the retirement of their choice. So they can do whatever they want. You know what? I'm coming to you from inside an RV. This was my wife and I's goal. We live in a lake. In fact, the lake is 30 feet away. We have a really nice pontoon and our goal was to be out here. Now, it's not everybody's goal, but it was our goal. And I didn't do it through my teaching income. I did it through my six-figure online teaching course. So, first one, find your niche. What are you passionate about? What do you want to teach? Second one, what is your goal, right? I had a goal of having an RV. What is your goal? Your goals are different than mine. What are your goals? What do you want to do? Do you want to help more kids? Do you want to help more people? See, in the teaching world, right, I don't know how many kids you taught a year. I teach anywhere from 100 to 120. It was great. But I thought I had more value that I could help more people. And after being inside the education world, I knew I could help other teachers. See, what is your vision? It's number three, what is your vision? See, my vision was waking up on a lake living 10 minutes within 10 minutes of my kids owning an rv traveling the world i don't know what your vision is i don't know what you really want to do see the whole part of this is i'm talking about building an online business as a teacher see we already know how to teach all right we've already been taught bring your talent to the world because people need to hear your voice the fourth one, and I'll recap all of these. The fourth one is finding your target market, meaning who are you going to talk to? Are you going to talk to teachers? Are you going to talk to other people? See, 90% of the time when I'm talking about target market, it's you. You're a pre-you. See, there was a time when my kids were getting ready to go to college, and I was nervous. I didn't know how to pay for it. I, I didn't... I knew I wasn't going to have the retirement we are planning on. We did some things that didn't work out. And I got nervous. So I started checking around on this online world because I didn't want to work a part-time job. And I had to dig down and find my target market. And then I found their challenges, their problems, and I started solving them for them. That's what this is all about. And I know you can do it. I know you can build an online business. So... After you found your niche, you know your goals, you have your vision, you found your target market. So now you got to come up with a content strategy. How are you going to put your voice out there? 
what is your message? Are you going to do videos? I suggest it. One of the best things in the world. And we teach, right? Are you going to do a blog? Are you going to be on Instagram? Are you going to be on Facebook? Are you going to build through your email list? You know, what is your content strategy? And I can help with all that. In fact, right, I told you before is hang on to the very end because I'll give you a link to a great freebie that will help you put all those things together. Okay. This, what problem is it? I had to look. The fifth one, the sixth one, is design a social media strategy. And what do I mean by that? I just kind of talked about it, right? Some people tell you that you got to post content all the time. I don't believe in that. You have to put out value, right? You have to give your best lesson when you're putting out content. You have to tell your story. How you got started. You got to tell a story how you're going to help people. You have to tell a story where you're going to take them. So design a social media strategy, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, who knows, whatever you want to do. Now the next one, and we had talked about this earlier, I believe you need videos. And here's why. And I didn't like the videos, to tell you the truth. I didn't mind teaching. I didn't, I didn't like speaking in front of my peers. And I was kind of nervous of the camera, but to tell you the truth, the camera is just a little box. But the number one search engine is Google. The number two search engine is YouTube. And guess who owns YouTube? Google. So I suggest you start putting out how-to videos. And again, it doesn't matter what you're doing. How to lose weight, how to do a lesson plan, how to do classroom management, how to build an online business. Do how-to videos. Show people how and give them steps. The eighth one, and this is so, you gotta have a profit strategy. How are you gonna make money, right? Are you gonna sell your lesson plans? Are you gonna develop an online course and sell that? Are you gonna be an affiliate marketer, meaning that somebody else has a product and you sell it and you get part of that commission? Are you gonna sell off Amazon or off eBay? All those things, but find out a profit strategy. Number nine is be consistent. Right, you gotta be consistent. You, you can't be on, if you're gonna use Facebook, you can't be on Facebook one day and not come back for two weeks. If you're gonna do videos, I suggest a video a week. Be consistent. People need to see you. Like you showed up in your classroom every day. Be consistent. Teach every day. Not every day, but find a pattern, a strategy that works for you, but be consistent. And the 10th one, and this is huge, you need to build a list, an email list, right? And you, there's a lot of different autoresponders. I, I, you know, I'll have one down in the links below that will help you out. Um, but that's not what I'm talking about. But see, when I first got started online, what was out there was network marketing and MLM. MLM. <laughs> oh, I got tongue tied there. Um, what was out there was an MLM. And, and I was excited about it because it was. I was teaching it, but I was belly to belly, which meant I was away from my family all the time. And after three years of it, I was doing okay, but I was away from my family and that's not what I did. It's not, not what I wanted to do. So I stopped and guess what? I had nothing to show for it. I didn't build a list. All those contacts, people I'd worked with before, all those contacts, I didn't have them on the list. One of the biggest mistakes I ever made. So. That's it. Let me recap. 10. 10 over delivered. Most people will say you need six. You need 10. Find your niche. Right? What are you passionate about? What are you going to talk about? Two, what are your goals? Right? What are your goals for a business? What's your vision? You know, if you had a perfect day, where would you wake up? What would you be doing? Your target market, who are you going to be talking to? Whose problems are you going to be solving? Get a content strategy. That was number five. Number six was design a social media strategy. Seven is videos. And please, I highly suggest doing videos. Eight is find a profit strategy. Nine was be consistent. And 10 was be, build your list. Hey, I promise you something. But before I go, right, hit that subscribe button. I think it's, I don't know where it is. 
hit that subscribe button and that little bell notification because I put out great videos every week and help you build your dream. I told you at the beginning, I have a great resource. I do. And the link's going to be down below. It's how to make money online without leaving your home, cold calling, or making sales. You can do this. Grab that resource, and we will talk to you again soon. You take care.